Good morning and welcome to a haul vlog. I'm sorry, something different? <laughs> What's different? I don't know. Oh, I got a new shirt on. <laughs> yeah. This is from Uniqlo. Uh, it's very nice. I like it. It's like their Aloha Mickey. Oh, um, yeah, yeah. It's like their Hawaiian vacation line. It's yeah. very cute. Other than that, nothing else. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what could be different. I don't know. How many of you guys picked number two for the glasses? I feel like, so I was looking at the comments of that video. So a few videos ago, a few home vlogs ago, Tim did like a try on of the glasses from Wobby Pog. Wobby Pog. <laughs> and a lot of you left comments of which ones you liked the best. A lot of people picked five. Really? Which was your least favorite. Yeah. Yeah. So a lot of people picked one. A lot of people picked the one that you thought you looked like Matthew Broderick in. And then people five. want to look like Matthew Broderick. Nobody picked two. Not well. Some people. What? No, no, no. People what? did. People did pick this pair, but more people picked the other pairs, and I thought that was kind of funny. That is interesting. I like these. Yeah, these are nice. I like these. I feel like they fit my face correctly. Yeah. And now you can see like what I was talking about with my eyeballs being smaller. Like you can see the sides of my head. They're not too much smaller. Yeah, but they're it, it, it's it's in there. There's yeah. a, it's, it is a thing. It is. A thing. Uh, also, right now I just did this for the video. I actually have my contacts in right now. This is very difficult because <laughs> everything is super blurry. Yeah. So there we go. I can see now. But yeah, these are the glasses that I got from Wabi Park. Number two. Number two. But I do. I think I like those the best. Yeah. I did like the pair that you look like Matthew Broderick in. After I was editing the video, I was like, oh, those are really nice. What the heck? I know. Well, but these are nice too. <sighs> That's okay. I like these. Yeah, I don't. I mean, it doesn't really matter because I'm not going to like, I only wear them at night. That's what I said. Yeah. So I could just like have any of them, really. That's true. But they're good. Nice. Ooh, I don't know what we're doing today, but we're gonna, uh, we got a new shower curtain we gotta hang. Oh, so in the video where we did the, um, what was it, the bathroom like DIY, we did like a refresh. It wasn't like a real yeah. big change. But and we, it's not done yet. No, but somebody left a comment with a shower curtain that looked almost identical to our shower curtain, because our shower curtain, we ended up like raising, and we'll show you this in the video, but we ended up raising the shower curtain up to kind of hide the darker tile in the back. And somebody said, I found the shower curtain on Amazon and we bought it. Yeah. And it's literally like very close. Yeah. So we'll show it to you. But we'll hang that you. today. Thank you. Yeah. And then uh, we'll have some cute baby time and all that other yeah, good stuff. little buddy. This little buddy right here. And we got you some new toys and some new books. We got to show you those. Oh yeah. So I love my rings. He uh, sort of waves right now, which is really fun. I don't know if he'll do it. Say, we started that yesterday, huh? Yeah. You want to wave? No? He's like, I got my rings. I'm not He's doing like, any waving right now. Oh, ooh, look at this fancy breakfast. So today I am having some oatmeal with, I added some granola, delicious, added some blackberries, so good. And I'm having a whole wheat muffin today ooh. and some delicious coffee in my father of all things mug. What? That's mine. Sorry, mine now. Oh. <laughs> What the heck? You know what else we might do today? What? Might make some cookies. Oh my gosh, I was thinking that too. How funny. Yeah. I, I came up with a new way of making cookies. Oh. I'd like to show what's a secret for right now. Oh. We'll show the video. All right, so back in this bathroom, you can see we got the walls painted nice and pink. And then this is the current shower curtain. And as you can also see, it does not go down very far. Another thing we have to do is we have to order these things. Like, uh, what are these called? Towel bars and toilet paper holders for this one because we want them to match that light. Then we'll get a new faucet too, and a new lever for the toilet. But today, I'm just gonna take down this shower curtain and put up the new one, just so so you guys remember, this is what this shower curtain looks like. And then we'll show you as I put up the new one. It looks fairly similar. It is slightly different, but pretty darn similar. <laughs> down to the ground and it matches really good so like this pink right here is very similar to the wall pink it looks real nice the only thing that I will say is the original one that we have was from Target and it was a little bit better quality like it was on like a what, what do you call that like a, like a fabric like a woven fabric whereas this one I think is more along the lines of like a vinyl you can hear it still it's very nice and it matches pretty darn good in my opinion 
don't know. It's also hard to tell because this is through a camera and what I'm seeing is probably a little bit different than what you guys are seeing. But for me, it matches really well. Jackson just woke up from his nap. Hey buddy, did you have a good nappies? Yeah, you did. You had a good nappies. Look at that fuzzy head. So this little bud is getting his first solid meal of the day. Second. Oh, is it, oh yeah, that's right, because he had some pears this morning. So we found out, I don't think it's the pears that made him sick the other day. I think it was just me accidentally like overfeeding him and him getting like jumbled up a little bit when I took him upstairs. And maybe, you know what, too, I was reading the comments and a lot of you left comments saying, what if he got car sick? Because when we were in the car, you said that his face was like a little bit red and that could have been the reason why he got sick. And I think you might be right. I think maybe he did get a little bit car sick. Yeah. I don't know. That was so long after. Was it? Yeah. Was it? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. It just made sense to me. So maybe that wasn't it, I but maybe that was it. Probably, I think he may have just been a little hot in the car because uh, car seats in general are just hot. <gasps> Buddy, we had the air conditioner on and everything. I oh, know you spitting it out. I don't think you like this. Did you spit it out? A little bit. So this is kale, sweet potato, and pumpkin. And I think he's so used to getting like a fruit and a vegetable together that this just might not be <laughs> his favorite. But yesterday I gave him chicken and sweet potato. Yeah, and he didn't like that either. He didn't mind it. No, he totally, when I fed him, he gagged. Well, that was because, okay, so we've been giving him purees and I'm trying to move towards chunkier, thicker foods to get him to learn how to chew. <gasps> Yum. And I think that he gagged because it was so thick. Oh, buddy, it wasn't that thick though. Oh no. What do you think? He really wants to hold the spoon. Say, dad, like let me hold the spoon. You just want to chew on the spoon though. You don't really want to eat the food off the spoon. Oh goodness. It's almost done. You're doing great. Me? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you playing with your new toy? You playing with your new eggs? You love your eggs? Did you see that each egg has a different emotion on them? And a different shape on the bottom? And a different color on the inside. Whoa! Hmm. Which egg is that? Circle. Orange. Is yeah. he happy? Sad? Oh, that's the happy egg. That's a happy egg. <laughs> what is this? Mischievous? Oh. <gasps> he's, he looks like he's yelling. That, that egg just got off a roller coaster. This oh, one's no. a ghost. <laughs> uh oh. It's your haunted egg. This one just finished eating eggs. Oh, oh no. <laughs> and this one's asleep. <laughs> you love this. I didn't know if you were actually going to love this. I'm glad that you do. And have, we got you some new books. I have a weird thing. Like I, we talked about how, how Jen has all of the toys out. Oh yeah. And I like to have this, this is my play space. With sorry, him. I'm trying to sit oh, down. Oh. I'm sorry, I was trying to sit down. <laughs> Jen puts out all of the toys and yeah. this is my play space with Jackson as I put out one toy and I have the basket here with all the rest of them in and he pulls one out and every time that he's done playing with it. But the other ones are over here. Yeah, I put it back in the basket. <gasps> Say not mama. And so I'm, I'm having a hard time with this one because all of them are out. No. And I'm like, all right, well, these aren't being used, so let's put these guys back where they go. But I think that's that's his job, though, too, is to put them back where they go because yeah, he but... has to he has to line up like the circle with the circle. Yeah, but he and hasn't, like he the... hasn't know how to do that yet, so I have to like teach him that like, oh, this one goes here. Well, it's just he it's just process of elimination at this age. Like he'll just try to put it in until it finally fits one. I don't know if he'll ever try to put it in. He might. He's Say, like, I'm I might just gonna bite that. him. <laughs> and beat them. See, he's trying to put it in. Oh yeah. <gasps> See, buddy, the heart goes in the heart one. See it? Oh, what's the ghost? What does his look like? Which one's the ghost? The yellow? That's a square. Oh, the ghost is a square, huh? Yeah, that's my new book. The ghost is a square. Oh. I don't know what it's about yet, but <laughs> it's, it's a working title. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm glad you love your new toy, bud. Oh, and he's wearing his Aristocats onesie from Box Lunch. Oh yeah, there's so much drool all over his eggs already. Yeah. So when I'm over here playing with Jackson, I put on Pandora Kids Tunes. And one of the songs is, when you're adding one to a number, think just one more. It, it, shouldn't there be like, is there another explanation that would help kids understand it? Like, it, if all you have to do is say, 
If you want to add one to something, just, just add one to it. Then you don't need to write a song about it, right? No, that means that we should be writing hit songs. Right? If you want to add two to a number, just think just two more. <laughs> no. Is that right? Yeah, or... If you want to multiply two by a number, just think about that number twice and add those numbers together. <laughs> I'm good. I'm the next Raffi. Or Blippi. Whichever one. Alright, so Jackson just went down for his second nap of the day. And I wanted to ask you something. When I'm sitting over here playing with him, I have a little tiny Bluetooth speaker that I play his music through. I was wondering, what type do you... Is there like a Bluetooth speaker that you recommend? Or, and also, uh, what is a Sonos? Like, what is that? Is that a Bluetooth speaker or is that like a Chromecast for music? Because in my mind, it seems like it should be a Chromecast for music where you just like, like, can do other stuff on your phone. It's hard to explain, but if I were to be playing Jackson's music and then try to watch a YouTube video, the YouTube video music would take over on the Bluetooth speaker. So is there something out there that can continue to play the music? Is there something like that? Also, and also, uh, is there a Bluetooth speaker that you recommend? So Jackson just woke up from his second nap. See, we had a really good nap, huh? He's been sleeping so hard today. Look at his little sleep Look lines on his sleep leg. Lines. That's from his swaddle. Buddy. Wow, buddy. And now you feel good, right? Well, he woke up screaming. Yeah, well, I think, I think he, he had some gas. He had some gas, and I think he slept on one of his ears wrong. Because, like, if you look at this here, it's all red right now. And he wasn't sleeping on it the whole time, but he rolled over, like, 30 minutes ago and was laying on that ear. Bud! And so I think that that ear is like... What are you looking for? <laughs> He's like, what are you guys watching? <gasps> that buddy, you want to play? It's time for your food, buddy. Oh, you want to eat some solid foods? Yeah. What do you think? Oh, real quick, I wanted to update you guys on our little garden here. We've gotten through most of the tomatoes. There's just a few left on here, but I need to move it to, I have a pot that I need to move all of these plants into, at least the two tomato plants, and then start fresh with a new batch of tomatoes, I think, and move these outside. But they're doing pretty good. I wonder after you like harvest tomatoes, can you grow tomatoes again? I mean, does, it, does, does the plant just keep growing tomatoes? It should. Yeah? It's not like you harvest tomatoes once and then you have to cut the whole plant down and start over again? I don't think so. That's what Animal Crossing has taught me. <laughs> I think in real life they should grow again. But I, I don't know, are they growing again? I don't know. I mean, there are tomatoes on it. I Let's investigate, the shall flowers. we? You know the flowers? Yeah, there's new flowers right there. Oh, okay, then yeah, then they should grow again. Okay, that's good. It's but good to also, know. Also, this is side note. Um, our food hasn't come yet. Right? From Martha and Marley Spoon. We need to look it up and yeah. see what's going on. I hope are you still yawning, buddy. Ooh, that buddy's yawning. <gasps> Whoa. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if it doesn't come, what do we do? We have spaghetti. Oh, okay. We had spaghetti last night. Yeah, I was thinking we could have Tijuana flats. Oh yeah, I can do that too. Whoa, what are you doing over here? So I was pulling his food for tomorrow because we freeze his food. So these are like all the purees that we've frozen and like there's one banana and some apples and chickpeas and mango and cherries. This is a lot of fruit. We do more than just fruit. But I was pulling his food for, for tomorrow because it's frozen, so we let it thaw overnight and then we give it to him in the morning like after we've heated it up. But I was going through everything to see like how many avocados do we have left? How many kale do we have left? To try to see how we can meal plan for him and see like what we need to blend up next. And then I was just keeping track of like how much of everything we have and then different combinations of foods that we can give him. So tomorrow he's gonna get chickpea and mango, but that day after that, we're gonna do green bean, avocado, and pears. Yeah. So this is how we store his food though. Kale, green beans, broccoli. So that's what I've been doing. Hey. Meal planning for our baby. So our food didn't come. So well, weird. It, it's still it's scheduled to come. It just I think it's gonna be really late today. Which is weird because it usually comes first thing in the morning. Yeah, but it's oh it's after five now. So yeah. uh, we thought 
Maybe we should just go get some Tijuana Flats. So Tijuana Flats is a Tex-Mex place and uh, it has since expanded to multiple states, but it's still kind of central around Florida. And if you come to Florida and you visit, eat at Tijuana Flats because it is delicious. So we're going to Tijuana Flats. Here we are. All right, this little buddy's over here supervising our dinner. No, dad, 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 mama, mama, dad, 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 dad. Who's your favorite? Tell us, tell us your hi. Hello. Are you waving at me? Hello. You waving at your mama, mama, mama. Hello. Hi. Wave at your favorite. No. <laughs> oh wait, he was supposed to wave, not say it. Who's so. your favorite? Hey, Dad, Dad. Tell Dad, Dad. Oh, jeez. Uh, so we got, this is my chicken chimichanga. Delicious. And then I got some double stuffed tacos because it's Taco Tuesday. And then we got these, they're called Atom Bombs and they are, they're like uh, po jalapeno poppers. Yeah. Like yeah. Fried jalapeno. They're like flautas. Flautas, yeah. Mama, mama. Dad, 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 dad. Hold mama's hand. Ma you don't want to hold mama's hand? Don't hold the hand of your favorite. <laughs> hold the hand of your favorite. <laughs> yeah. Both of, we're, we're both your favorite? Oh. I feel like we're going to give him a complex because we're asking him who his favorite is. <laughs> or maybe you're going to get a complex because I'm clearly his favorite. <laughs> So we're all done with dinner. We are. And now our food came. Of course, it came like while we were gone, but I ate too much. My stomach is hurting me. I didn't eat enough. Really? No, I, I, I ate too much. Oh my gosh. It was, but... it was a lot of food. It was really good. Oh no, this buddy's oh. getting so tired. No, he keeps dropping his toys on the ground and then he gets mad because he dropped his toy on the ground. Right. And it's like, well, you did that though. You dropped it on the ground. One day you'll learn. <laughs> he just had a bath. So he's like, I know that it's time to go to bed. I know, he's so tired. So we just need two more minutes, buddy. And you then you can have fun. some more milkies. <gasps> yeah. And then you'll go to bed. And then it's bedtime for the buddy. It is. He loves that hand toy, huh? You know what else is really weird? He loves this bowl. Yeah, he loves his bee bowl. I don't know like what it is about the bowl. No. Oh. But. I'm so tired. <laughs> So another funny thing, well not funny, that's not funny, but, but something that is funny is that in one of our meals, we got these lasagna sheets because we're making like a wonton, veggie wonton stir fry. So you like cut up these lasagna sheets and those are the little like noodles. But who does that look like? Who does it look like to you? Doesn't that look like Larry David? Yeah. Like, doesn't it look like Larry David sent us some, some lasagna noodles? Maybe he did. Right? Uh, you know who it looks like to me? Who? Giovanni Roma. Is that his name? <laughs> <laughs> I still think it looks like Larry David. Right? Yeah. Or George Costanza. One of the two. No, just Larry David. Yeah. That's who George Costanza is based, based off of Larry David, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I don't think they look alike, though. No, they don't. Jerry. <laughs> so here's what's really fun. Jackson loves looking at daddy like this. <laughs> Is that so funny? <laughs> That's it, I don't have to do anything. You just put the boppy on just your head? put the boppy on so my head. This is what I use to breastfeed him. Is this like boppy pillow? This dead is so funny. Look, normal daddy. Normal daddy. <laughs> that is so funny. That daddy is so funny. <laughs> I don't know why that's so funny. What are you doing? So I'm gonna make some cookies. I cannot right? eat anything more. I can't believe you can eat more. Well, I don't know how I'm making them. I don't know if I'm gonna eat them right now. I will eat them right now. <laughs> I was gonna say. But, so some people asked uh, one time, Somebody asked what recipe we use for our cookies. And this is like literally Nestle Toll House chocolate chips. On the back of them is the Nestle Toll House cookie mix recipe. That's what we use. I'm gonna do something a little special this time. I did it last time and we didn't film it the last time that I made cookies. I made them special, made a couple of them special and they were primo. So I'm gonna do that again with more. All right, so here's what's different. <laughs> so we have the normal chocolate chip cookie dough batter. 
Sorry, we have Jackson's monitor if you hear that noise. Sorry. Totally normal. Followed the followed the recipe. I, well, I cut the recipe in half because I didn't want to make five dozen cookies. <laughs> right. So the thing that you got to do though is you take a ramekin full of chocolate chips. We have these mega chips. Yeah. And you dump your cookie dough ball in there, right? Mm-hmm. And then you take it and you press it. Press it into the chocolate chips. And I would do it in the smaller chips, no? I'm gonna do both. Okay. So basically, when you're done, you have a cookie dough ball covered with these giant chocolate chips. And then you bake it like you would normally. And it comes out as a chocolate chip cookie covered in chocolate chips. Delicious. But you can't eat these right away because the chocolate chips are so melty. You could. Well, They're just better if you wait. Yeah, we had them the next day. Like we put them in the fridge. Ooh, in the refrigerator. They were so good. Oh my gosh. Solid. Yeah. Can I have one request? Yes. Um, will you put mini chips on mine? Yes. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. Little Miss Mini Chip coming in. Boop. Oh goodness. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, that looks so good. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Look, look at that. Yeah, that looks pretty legit. Doesn't that look so good? Yeah, it looks like legitness. <laughs> Are you gonna make one like that for you? Well, I'm gonna make three of each. Mm, okay. And then I'll make a couple of just like normal chocolate chips. Okay. Chocolate chip cookies. You know, as you do. This definitely eats up chocolate chips though, doesn't it? I mean, you literally just eat them I mean, yeah. Like, like you just eat them out of the bag after we make our chocolate chip cookies anyway, so. Who doesn't do that? Well, I don't. <laughs> you gotta start. <laughs> oh, it looks so good. I'm excited. Now my tummy doesn't hurt. And now, <laughs> I, want, now I want cookies. Miracle. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna watch you make one last one. Can you, oh, I guess that's enough. Let's see, was it enough? Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll put like one big one on there to, to fill cover, that, cover to fill that hole. Okay. <laughs> These are gonna be so good. Yeah, they Oh will my be. gosh, they literally look so delicious. You're welcome. You did great. Mm -hmm. I'm not done yet. All right, the first batch is done. Like I said, I did just like some normal ones here, but look at these six. Those are some good looking cookies right there. Uh, these three don't have as much chocolate chip coverage as I would like. These, however, whoo. That's some chocolatey chip goodness. So it's actually the next morning. Good morning. It took me way longer to finish making those cookies than I anticipated. Yeah. So by the time that I was done, it was our bedtime. It was past our bedtime. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, hello. Say hi, Dad. I like your shirt. Thank you. It's blue. But yeah, yesterday was a good day. Are we going to eat one of the cookies? Yeah, we are. Yeah. Well, you want to go get one? Yeah, let's go get a cookie. All right. Oh my gosh. They look... So good, like way too sweet, but so good. Not sweet enough. Holy cow. I guess they're semi-sweet chips, right? That's what they tell you. So does that mean that they're not as sweet, right? I mean, they're a little bit sweet. <laughs> okay. What is this buddy doing? He's like, I'm playing with everything that I've got. Yeah, I put out all your toys for you because that's what mama does, huh? Is that your egg carton? Oh, you're just gonna eat the egg carton? All right. He loves it. Look at him, he's like, mmm, I like cookies. When do you give a baby like their first cookie? Like what, what like obviously, sweet thing? yeah, like when do you, when We're do you? Their first birthday, right? Do you? Yeah, the smash cake is the first sweet thing that they can, that they eat, oh. isn't it? I don't know, that's why I asked. We have to get them, we have to get him eating like um, chunkier, more solid food to get him like learning how to chew. Yeah. That's our next step. Yeah. So. I'm kind of nervous for that. Not kind of, I'm very nervous for that. What are you doing, bud? He's trying to get those cookies. <gasps> They're not for buddies. They're only for mommies and daddies. Yeah, so I picked one of the little ones, like the little chocolate chippy ones, and then we picked the one that we put the one big chocolate chip in. Yeah. So, cheers. Whoa. That's a primo chocolate chip cookie. This is so good. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. I think you should only make chocolate chip cookies this way now for, for like ever, for mm -hmm. the rest of time. Cookies for breakfast. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> this is my, one of my most favorite things that he does is he gets his toy. Oh, he's kind of moving around though. So he's not crawling yet. We get a lot of questions, um, especially in the live shows. People are like, is he crawling yet? And he's not, but he is kind of like spinning around. 
But I love when he just kicks his little legs. Oops. <gasps> Where's your ball? You got your ball? Did you get it? So close. You gonna get it? <gasps> See how he kind of spins around? Like he's so close to crawling. He just doesn't have the like, he's just not putting the weight on his knees yet. Today was a, or yesterday, was a good day. Yeah. Really enjoyed it. Uh, made cookies. We, we had, ate at Tijuana Flats. It was Taco Tuesday. That was delicious. Yeah. It did upset my stomach a little bit. I think I just oh. ate, I ate too much. And I'm not used to eating bad, ever since the whole like lockdown, like ever since this whole thing started, we've been eating so much healthier because we've been eating at home so much. Just cookies. <laughs> well, Non-stop. We have been eating a lot of cookies. <laughs> but like, I haven't been eating as much I don't know, I feel like we've been eating healthier dinners and like breakfast and lunch. And so I just, I'm not used to eating Tijuana Flats. Right. So my tummy was like, hey, maybe, maybe don't do that. His like foot was just in the shot for like a second. <laughs> He's rolling around over here. He's loving it. So sorry, he wanted to be a part of the outro, huh? Just his eyeballs though. <laughs> oh. You want to see Dada? See, I love Dada's blue shirt. But uh, yeah, so we had a great day and we hope that you had fun hanging out at home with us. We love having these home vlogs. It's just fun to like <laughs> hang out with you guys and the baby. Yeah. Say yeah. Um, so, yeah. So all in all, it was a good day. It really was. So with that being said, we are off. We will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to help. So today's organization that we want to shine a spotlight on is the Okra Project. And I wanted to say thank you to Lauren for sending this our way so that we could check it out. So the Okra Project is a collective that seeks to address the global crisis faced by black trans people by bringing home cooked, healthy and culturally specific meals and resources to black trans people wherever we can reach them. So in this spirit, it says the Okra Project hopes to extend free, delicious and nutritious meals to black trans people experiencing food insecurity. So please, if you will take a second and check out the link in the description down below. This is a really important link and we hope that you will read more about what the Okra Project does and how they help the community. And if you can donate, if you can't, just reading and learning more about it um, definitely helps out. And talking to your friends and family about it will for sure help to just shine that spotlight on the Oprah Project even brighter. So we hope that you will check it out. Yeah, and thank you guys for watching this video. Yeah.